What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Mikhail Rose, and we are here at Iconics Radio. I am your host, Mikhail Rose. Yay! Come on, y'all. Make some noise. <laughs> Listen, guys, um, as you all know, we are always looking for the next icon, the next up and coming artist that's out there on the hustle, on the grind, making a difference in this world through music and on so on and so forth. But today, we have the one and only Sunshine Rhea in the building, guys. Yes. Whoop, whoop. I'm so excited. How you doing today, Diva? Hey, I am lovely. Very sunshiny. <laughs> <laughs> well, you glowing. You look good, Diva, from the hair to the makeup. You look fierce. <laughs> I love the shirt. I mean, I, you, you, so tell me, the people want to know, where are you from? Well, I'm from I'm from Houston, Texas. Okay, is that born and raised? Born and raised I in love Houston. It. Yes, I I have we have yet to got you know good with the weather. I don't care how long you didn't lived here. This humidity <laughs> is a mug. You it's, feel me? It's different, right? <laughs> yes, for sure. It's, it's definitely different. So, um. We're going to definitely get into the music and everything, but just tell us a little bit about yourself. Who is Sunshine? Sunshine. Sunshine Rhea is definitely uh, down to earth, okay. very keep it real type of uh, personality. And uh, yeah, she got a mouth too, you know. Mm, spicy. Very, very spicy. Okay. <laughs> Sweet and spicy. And everything nice. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I love it. I love it. So um, let's talk a little bit about your sound. Um, how would you describe your sound? My sound, first off, I don't like to box myself. So okay. I am very versatile. I can do what, I do whatever makes me feel good. I love it. Um, but if I would have to guess, I guess, categorize myself, mm -hmm. I would say definitely Southern trap, hip hop, um, and feel good. You know, feel good music if I was to have to, you know, put it in a one category. So yeah. I'll definitely say Southern trap. Southern Tramp. Yes. Okay, Southern okay. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> I remember when you got a chance to come into the studio um, uh, a while back, and we we sat and we listened to some of your music, and I was like, you know, man, she kind of remind me a little bit of like a mixture of the Ghetto Twins, oh, like with a little Mia hey. X. You you know, you got that Southern style. That su and I, I also saw that you like to tell stories, but um, that, that brings me to my next question about like influence. Cause everyone has somebody that influenced them, somebody that inspired them. Um, so, um, who influenced you to do music? Definitely, um, big influence. I can say, look, I'm from Houston. Not just saying it, but Beyonce is one of my favorite, ah, come favorite on. artists. <laughs> Beehive, you know, I, I, I eventually I, I wanted to be the, the 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 captain of the Beehive, but I think it's <laughs> it's taken every year. But Beyonce, give give me give me some more. What you I got? I love Beyonce, but I can say from the very first artist that yeah. from a child that I can say um, just blew me away was Tina Turner. I oh. love Tina Turner. Look at you. I had, um, so I didn't have a radio. We grew up kind of, you know, like, I, we didn't have too much, but right. I didn't have, but we had enough. Yeah. And I didn't have a radio, but I had this little cassette player. Mm -hmm. It used to be a, a read along set player where you put your, your tape in and you read the book, like little Disney books. Yeah. And I remember begging my mom to get uh, the Tina Turner greatest hits from McDonald's. Like they're doing now. Wow. What they do? Yeah. With the sweetie. Right. Right. The sweetie right. 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 I forget another group my daughter was saying. Some will be or whatever they are. <laughs> but the same, they look, they doing the same things. And it, it, it just keeping it going. But Tina Turner Greatest Hits was one I of my it. very first consets, along with Black Street. Ooh, and Boys to Men. You know what? <laughs> See, I'm, look, and Tupac, of course, on the on the rap. It's crazy because, yeah. I, I I like a lot of R and B myself. Wow, mm -hmm. you know it's very interesting that you named um, a lot of icons. 
Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's I mean that's really standing out to me. And again, I remember sitting in the studio and we were listening to your music, and now I can see those influences. I, I can hear because I yeah, girl, come on, little yeah. Tina. Tina. I love Shout out to Tina, Tina still holding it down in the Hold background. On, come on, Tina. Tina. Yeah. Okay. So um, now. As an artist, um, what inspires you to make music? Like, what is that niche that just keeps you going? Because it's hard, I hear. It is so hard in these streets. And to stay stay inspired, I can say life experiences, life inspires me. Um, Sitting, talking to friends, family, hearing what they go through, and then experiences of my own. Yeah. It's very therapeutic for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can definitely say that it's, it, it inspires me a lot in my children. Um, so, you know, when it comes, I, I like to try to get it, and, and I can definitely say uh, life experiences have definitely uh, inspired a lot of my music. I like that. I like that. Um, now I ain't gonna lie. I done seen you on stage live, <laughs> and you, um, you some serious. Oh, you some real I, serious. I, try, I, I try. love the, <laughs> I love the energy. Um, I love the way that you don't like. You you could you create this moment that you make people pay attention to you, and as an artist, it's really hard to do that live. Right. And I, I mean, I. Who are some artists you've opened up for? Um, I've opened up for a lot of local artists. Yeah, um, that's from Lil Kiki. That was my very first. Um, <laughs> What's up, Kiki? Hey, yeah, Kiki. Lil Kiki, the dog. <laughs> yeah, but look, I didn't even meet him till the third time. I didn't perform for him. <laughs> Did you say the third time? The third time. Oh, three Cause, times a trauma. Because Kiki be in and not, baby. Yeah, he, he do. Play. He comes he in do. and I, I didn't um, open for um, Big Pokey. Come on, uh, Nina Nicole. Yeah. Um, and late last month, I just opened up for Big Freedom. Come on, Big Freedom. <laughs> Ken the Man. I yeah. did line with Ken the Man. Yeah, Ken the Man is hard. Leo. Oh, yeah, um, and uh, high scissor. Hot scissor. Hot okay. Scissor. Now these are a lot of people that I mean, you got some icons, you got some legendaries in that in that. So I mean, you know, I'm from Houston, Texas, born and raised, South Park raised. What's that? Okay. But, you know, um oh, and Club Godzilla. Club come Godzilla, on, Club, Big King. Yes, Big King. And yeah. Queendom Come. So yeah. Wow. Been, I've been working. Wow. <laughs> wow. Your your resume is is getting longer and longer. And that's definitely what I respect about um up and coming artists, especially independent artists, because because if we don't grind, you know, we don't get it. And, you know, mm-hmm. having a team and having the right people around you is really important. So that that brings me to my next my next question. You, you, the, the people around you, your team, mm-hmm. like, tell me about the energy. Because in order to get on that stage and do what you do, you got to have some people in your background, like, keep going. Like, right. some people that's pushing you. So tell me about your team. I definitely have my family behind my back, my cousins. Yeah. I call us the the that's the triple dynamic trio right there. Wow. One of my cousins, um, uh, which uh has her own business, uh, moved by Derrica C. Come on. She's like my stylist slash makeup artist slash manager. Like Wow. <laughs> she my Joe Jackson, okay? Yeah. She she definitely is critical, <laughs> but it's good criticism. Yes. And then I have my other cousin, uh Mahogany Joe, by the way. Look 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 out for her stuff. She's you know, she's I coming. Love it. We she's in, musically inclined as well. So her me when we get together at energy is just is explosive and she keeps me going and she be like girl you the big stepper girl so i'd be like yeah i am i am <laughs> i love it the cousin uh so i I definitely have uh and a boo baby which she do braids you need some braids look plug uh, in period so i definitely have a lot of talent around me already and and um they the ones really help me develop this idea and give me the confidence to this okay like go for it because wow. I, I used to just talk about it and they were like girl you better go and do this stuff come on so i definitely have that uh and my sister and my kids my kids my number one fans i know that. they love everything i love it <laughs> i love it i love it now um your family is definitely definitely important and especially to have them um, like you know that phone call away to say girl keep going when you especially during the pandemic and things right. like that you know i think it it brought a lot of people closer right and um just seeing you just girl just blossoming and on your ground it's a beautiful thing so now 
when you making your music, you know, <laughs> most artists and I, I, I love the way that you 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 shouting out everybody, but um as us artists, a lot of times the producers don't really get a lot of you know <laughs> yeah, a lot of they they, yeah. they, they do. Shine. So what music artists and producer do you inspire to work with? That's ooh, come on now. Oh, yeah. Cause ooh, see, everybody say ooh. who you want to collab with, but see, there's some producers out there that. And shout out to my my producer, Mister Iconics. What's up? Hey, hey. Yeah, you know. Well, uh, right now I work with. Right now I'm working with Caleb on the um, which is Caleb Collins, uh, my Collins. Uh-huh. Um, I've worked with Balbino. He's an old head in the, in the game in Houston, well known. Come on. Um, now inspired to write work with uh Missy Elliott. I could say oh will be one. That's um, queen shit. Can I say that? That's, queen. Okay. And we got some stuff coming up June, with June James. He's another one from Houston that is definitely uh climbing and rising. So that's gonna be soon, and I've definitely put that out in the universe. And oh, what a other. Good one. I These some hard hitters. Of. I'm loving it. Like I say, Missy is definitely one. Um, I can't think of another one right now. Well, I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to go ahead and put the plug in. Mr. Iconics is Mr. fire. Iconics, yeah. I just want to say that's definitely I a plug. I have heard his stuff too. So, yeah. yeah like that last you know, track he played for us, I'm like, okay, we hold got, on, wait a minute. <laughs> listen, when when I tell you we're we going to definitely have to work on something together. Period. And, and Mr. Iconics is definitely one of the ones I would I would definitely recommend. Okay, okay. I got now, you. look, Miss Sunshine. <laughs> we're going to have to work there. <laughs> This is this is a question that I, I think a lot of people over exaggerate. But listening to your music and also hearing your story, um, I know you're gonna give us the raw truth because only icons come with the raw truth. Mm. And how you long, know it. girl? Look, how long you been making music? Because it's it's it you 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 got hits, man. You got okay, hits. Okay, okay. So I've always written music, um, even in the mid- in middle school. So I can say since eleven. But wow. um, as far as recording the music and actually yeah. getting out there and putting it together and branding, I've been doing it for maybe uh, almost three years. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. And, you know, um, creating those moves, especially when you're writing and then when you're getting on stage and you're bringing those words to life, it's, it's, it's such a beautiful thing to see. Now, being that you've been doing music for a while, where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years. Like I say, being new to the game, um, definitely have its in and outs. But in five years, I plan on first off, keep going. Yeah. And not stopping. And, and uh, have my own business. Okay. Um, and definitely be within that world. Uh, develop other artists. There you and, go. And maybe in, in Grammys. Look, hold on. Come Mr. on. Mr. Iconics. Okay. Come okay. on. We need Come a on. hit. Come Mr. on. Come on. Come on. Um, so I definitely have goals and to be global, not just, you know, local. So definitely have goals. That's not nice. the world to hear yeah. what Sunshine got to say, you know? <laughs> yeah, girl. Cause you be speak, you be speaking the raw truth. I was like, come on, little storyteller. I love it. <laughs> um, do you play any instrument? I used to play B flat clarinet. Come on. So, yeah. you know, you can play the sax, the, uh, flute, um, mm-hmm. those are all the same keys, but I do want to learn how to play the piano and, uh, the bass guitar. Come on. Okay. Yeah. So do you, you wear long nails? I do normally. Okay, cause okay, cause right now you I'm you, letting them breathe. No, right listen, now. you guitar and you, <laughs> you guitar, you piano ready right now. Cause I've tried, girl. And I was like, girl, oh, don't yeah. be with the yeah, nails. No. Okay, well, I'm with the mid I learned, I learned the hard way. Period. <laughs> so, um, what do you consider good music? Good music yes. to me, um, I would say music that you can feel. Uh, okay. That you can relate to, and, yeah. and it makes you feel. With I feel like when the artist can convey that feeling, yeah, um, on the track, not you know as well, yeah, that's what makes music good to me. Yes. You know what I mean? Something that I can understand, mm-hmm. and not just like this mumble stuff. I'm sorry, no shade to the mumble <laughs> no, rap, no, no, but not something even. that I can understand and resonate with and relate to. Relatable I love music. it. I love it. I love it. Um, one of my uh, favorite rappers, I don't care what anybody says, is Little Kim. Okay. Shout out to Little Kim. Period. You know, she, you know, she back in the day, I was like, come on, Kim. She the one that the gave original, us that yeah. voice. That she, she, she the trends would be <laughs> with y'all city girls. Did you say that? I said city trends. But but city girls shout would out be, to the city trends. Yeah. Y'all be holding it down in the city back. Girls, <laughs> they wouldn't be who, who they are. You know what I mean? If it wasn't. 
for people like her to pave the way. And, That's and so I'm going to mess another one up. MC Light was one of my favorites. Look, too, she goes hard. Uh-huh. Oh, my <laughs> God. Into this, Her voice is so authentic. And I think that, um, I mean, and your voice is That's very uh, your voice is very authentic as well in order to, you know, I was like, man. I mean, again, you just give me, you, you're a storyteller. Right. And, and the vibe just be raw and true like trap, Nick. I'm like, come on. So Listen. going back to that sound, back to that question, I would say, yeah, the trap, Southern trap with a hint of conscious. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I that music as well. As so um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we, we we definitely talking about that because this goes to my next question. What styles of music do you like listening to? I am, I, it's crazy because I do rap, but I love R&B. I love R&B mm-hmm, music. Mm-hmm, that's like, mm-hmm. So that's like my music of choice, especially, especially when I'm finna clean up around the house or maybe even at work, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of gets me going. But when I, I'm in my mood, you know, I like trap music. I ain't going right. to lie. I love that Southern, that Houston type feel to down South music. And um, I, I, I pretty much love any music. The only one I really can't get with it's like rock, heavy rock, cause I do soft rock too. <laughs> Little Come country, <laughs> but my my go to feel good, like you say, music or yeah. put me in my zone is mostly R and B. A little like Nita Baker, a little Mary you know J. I mean? Blige, a little Brandy. Mary, Listen. Baby, that got me through a lot. Mary I'm, don't. That's one of them. Yeah, I love me some Mary. <laughs> that's one of my favorites. Okay, so um, I, I believe that that, that kind of closes up a lot of my questions because you are just an an amazing artist oh, now thank you um tell us um where can we find you like yes. where do we go tell the people where to go yes so you can find me on all platforms social media youtube everything at sunshine ria and that's uh sunshine with the y um r-e-y-a r-e-y-a Guys, we have been rocking and jamming and listening to the amazing story and sounds of Miss Sunshine Rhea. It's your girl, Mikhail Rose Sunshine. Thank you so much for hanging out with this Iconics Radio. We are out and peace. Thank you for having me. All okay. right, Mikhail. Well, you know, I did come with a gift. I wanted to give you your own Sunshine Ria shirt. Yay! Thank you so much for having me on the show. Thank you, <laughs> Sunshine Ria. Oh, hey. turn up. All right. Thank you so much. You know, I'm putting it on tomorrow. Hey. Here he <laughs> All right, guys. It's your girl, Mikhail Rose, and Miss Sunshine. Please introduce your music. Yes, yes. Right now, you're about to listen to my very first single, which is Trap Nigga. You can get that on all platforms. Trap Nigga, let's go. Let's go. Let me tell you about my Trap Nigga. That's bad. Don't play. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My nigga hard to the core. I can't keep him up. If you pull up on the spot, best believe he told that heat My nigga name ring bells, making moves up in these streets And he like my sugar poppy, come to me to get some sweet Certified, tell me fine, Rick James, super freak Make him bust ten times, then I put that ass to sleep He addicted to this nookie, New Jack City, pookie speed And he known to get them bags, we bust it down cause I'm his queen He like that bunny and that Clyde shit, that ride or die shit That we gon' eat to survive shit, like on my life shit, my trap